Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about stability in sorting algorithms. This is an important criteria to analyze algorithms. We want to know which algorithm is stable, which one is not. Let's see what it is. Let's understand this with this example. We are given an array of students. This array is already sorted in alphabetic order of their names. So it's lexicographically sorted by the names of the students. Anil comes first, then Ayan, then Piyush, then Ramesh. So they are increasing order of their names. We want to sort this array in increasing order of their marks. And in the sorted array, we want to make sure that if two students have the same marks, then they appear alphabetically in our output. This property is called stability. What it means is, if two items have same value, right, then they should appear in the same order as they appeared in the original array. So if you want to sort them in increasing order of marks, you will notice that there are four marks, 80, 50, 80, 50, 80. So you know for sure your output is going to have four students where the first student has marks 50, second has marks 50, third has 80, fourth has 80. Now if you are using a stable sorting algorithm, then this algorithm will also ensure that the two people who have the same marks 50 appear in the same order as they appeared in the original array. Also, the two people who have same marks 80, they also appear in the same order in our output array as they appeared in the original array. So, our stable sorting algorithm will sort it this way. Anil and Piyush, they have same marks. So, stable sorting algorithm will ensure that Anil appears first because it appeared first in our original array. Then Piyush appears. So 50-50 marks. Our first requirement is simple to sort the students increasing order of marks. That can be done by any sorting algorithm. But a stable sorting algorithm will ensure this order and Anil appears first. Now if you look at Ayan and Ramesh, Ayan should appear first in your output. AT and then Ramesh should appear. That is what a stable sorting algorithm would do. It not only sorts the array, but also ensures original order if two items have same value, same value for the field for which we are sorting. Now stability is important only when you have objects of this form where objects have multiple fields and you are sorting them for one or two fields and you want other fields to follow the original order. Stability is not important if you are sorting an integer array for example. It's not an array of objects. It's simply an integer array. No associated objects are there. Then st stability has no use. It's useful when you have objects with many fields, more than one fields, and you are sorting them according to a set of fields. One field or two fields or three fields. So it is stable. An unstable algorithm can produce any output because the first requirement, the main requirement of sorting is to sort them in increasing order of marks. Right? Other things are not important for unstable. Unstable does not care about stability. So an unstable algorithm can put Piyush first. And then can put Anil. And here maybe it does the same order. Or maybe reverses the order because the unstable algorithm does not care at all what is the order. It might be same, it might not be same. 
so this is unstable why is it unstable because piyush is appearing first here after a uh, before anil and they both have same marks and they appeared in different order in the original array so that is why this algorithm this output is an output of an unstable algorithm here are some examples of stable and unstable sort algorithms bubble sort insertion sort and merge sort are stable selection sort quick sort and heap sort are unstable i'll just cover one one example of both the algorithms to give you an idea why these two are stable and unstable i'll cover bubble sort and selection sort these other algorithms we'll discuss about their stability while we are discussing them individually let's talk about bubble sort how bubble sort works it always compares adjacent elements right it always compares array i with array i plus 1 if array i is, is smaller than or equal to array i plus 1 then it does not do anything and if array i is greater than it swaps so what it means if two same items appear one after the other it's not going to swap them right so that is why bubble sort is stable why because it always swaps adjacent elements and it's not going to swap the adjacent elements if they are same right so it will keep the previous element at its previous position so bubble sort is stable let's now talk about selection sort selection sort is not stable how does selection sort work you are given an array it finds the maximum element in this array right and after finding the maximum element what it does it swaps this maximum element with the last element let's take a look at this example what selection sort will do it will find the maximum element after finding the maximum element what it will do it will swap the maximum element with the last element so what will happen this 3 will come here this particular 3 might be marks of a student x y z and these three are probably the marks of a student a b c right so what happened this x y z appeared before a b c after the swapping you swap this three with 18 that's what selection sort does it finds the maximum element swaps it with the last element and then finds the second maximum or maximum in the remaining array and that's how it proceeds so when it is doing the swapping it's actually disturbing the original order of values that is why it is not stable in this video we introduced stability in sorting algorithms we talked about what stability is and some example sorting algorithms the remaining sorting algorithms that we have not discussed in this video we will cover them separately